Without exception, recycling is the top action society can do to simultaneously improve the environment, the economy, sustainable manufacturing, and to prevent waste from going into our oceans. Over 2,000 landfills are currently open in the United States, making our country an ugly place. And although they've often camouflaged fairly well, the negative issues that accompany landfills remain. Underneath the makeup that's been plastered onto landfills lay present concerning threats to our planet. If we want to leave this planet for our future generations, it's critical that we have a proactive recycling plan in place. Whether it's in the office, your community, or in your home. So did you know that the average person generates over 4 pounds of waste per day? Imagine if everyone recycled their plastic, aluminum cans, paper, even cardboard. I've been recycling for about a year now, and my recycling bin fills up quicker than my garbage can. It's crazy how I didn't realize how important recycling is until about a year ago. I have done research on this topic before I even started recycling at my house. So I have decided to talk to you about why it's so important to recycle. My goal in this speech is to help you spread the word about why and how recycling can keep the world a cleaner place. I hope that after you hear this speech, you will help spread the word and I want you to realize that recycling can be easy and beneficial. So I'm going to talk to you about why recycling is important, the statistics behind recycling, how recycling is easy, and why we should all be doing it. So recycling is very important as waste has a huge negative impact on the natural environment. Harmful chemicals um, and greenhouse gases are released from rubbish and landfill sites. Recycling is one of the best ways for you to have a positive impact on the world and which we live in. Recycling is important to both the natural environment and us. We must as act fast as the amount of waste we create is increasing all the time. We can recycle a lot of our used resources rather than throw them away and create more waste since we have enough. The things we're throwing away takes years to decompose. We can make a difference by just recycling and reusing our resources. What I love about recycling is that something old and used can be made into something new and exciting. Next, I want to talk to you about some interesting facts and statistics about recycling. Recycling plays a part in many ways. Since landfills are among the biggest contributors to soil pollution, roughly 80% of the items buried in landfills could be recycled. 75% of Americans' waste is recyclable, but we're only recycling about 30% of it. If we were able to get to the rate of 75%, the effect will be like removing 50 million passenger cars from the U.S. roads. Did you know that a single recycled plastic bottle saves enough energy to run a 100-watt bulb for 4 hours, creates 20% less air pollution and 50% less water pollution than would be created when making a brand new bottle? And recycling plastic saves twice as much energy as it takes to burn it. So the US is throwing away 1.4 billion dollars worth of recyclable containers and packaging every year. It takes 500 years for average size water bottles to fully decompose and glass bottles take 4,000 years to decompose. That is just crazy. In only three months enough aluminum cans are thrown out in the United States to rebuild all our commercial air fleets. Mm, that's too much. Of the 62 million newspapers printed daily in the United States, 44 million would be thrown away, which is roughly 500,000 trees. We need to save the trees, guys. I'm going to tell you how recycling is easy. There are a few rules to help your recycling process. Rule number one, check with your local city. Recycling is a club and we all need to join. Rule number two, always look to reuse. This rule provides you with a chance to flex your creative muscles. Just because something isn't deemed recyclable doesn't mean you can't find another use for it. Think about how you can repurpose it. Rule number three, 
Know your expectations for recycling. For plastics, plastics are often the most tricky, but a good rule of thumb to avoid is flexible and soft plastic. Paper. While it may seem like all paper can be recycled, that's hardly the case. Wrapping paper, paper that's been heavily dyed, and sometimes even shredded paper needs to stay out of your recycling bin. And glass. Ceramics and light bulbs often won't make the cut. But that's where rule number one comes into play with talking to your local city. And rule number four, remove any food or liquid from your recyclables. While it's important to eliminate potential contaminants, like how clean the recycles need to be, to provide some clarity, it's important to know that small amounts of food will interfere with glass and steel recycling process. So just give it a quick rinse, um, if anything. And why do we need to be recycling? Some years back, Nobody paid much attention to the accumulation of waste in homes and landfills. It became so vast that authorities started getting concerned that the phenomenon would create a disaster. So a solution, a solution had to be found, but one that is kind to humans and the environment. That's when recycling was born. It's a global issue. We need to conserve our resources, save energy, and minimize accumulation in landfills. I encourage you guys to help spread the word on why recycling is important, why it's easy, and why we should all be doing it. Let's help conserve energy, have cleaner communities, and ensure a sustainable future. If just one person can make a difference, imagine what you could do.